Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Daily IoT. If you can't tell, I am really excited about our next project, which is what the focus of today's episode is going to be. Any of those that have been following me on Instagram got a little bit of a sneak preview as I was posting some pictures there to hint at what we were gonna be talking about. But what we are gonna be talking about is the internet of hockey things, specifically memorabilia things. What do you think about that, Connor McDavid? He's pumped. Okay, let's give a little bit of background before we hit the famous, infamous, I don't know what you wanna call it, piece of paper where we draw up our base plans and work through the project together. So last year, let's go more background than just last year. I have been a diehard Washington Capitals hockey fan since I was a little kid. Uh, my parents used to take me to games. That was always a Christmas present. We would go to a game during winter break before we went back to school and just been loving following the team ever since. Also hating following the team ever since because we can't seem to win a Stanley Cup ever in the history of the franchise. But that is a completely different story. We're not gonna talk about that right now. They're still the best. Go Caps. I wanna talk about the project in a little bit more of a generic sense. Last season, now we're back to last season, um, one of our star players on the team, Alexander Ovechkin, was on track to reach 900 points, which in hockey is a crazy milestone. So the team from the puck drop of the first game of the season had been focused on marketing this. It's a business, I get it. And so as one of the game giveaways, if you attended the game and bought tickets, you got an Alexander Ovechkin um, point tracker bobblehead. I think it was a bobblehead, actually. Was it a bobblehead? Connor McDavid seems to think so. And when I read the headline, I thought, wow, a point tracker, that's amazing. That's totally Internet of Things. And then I looked at it and was massively disappointed because it was literally a bobblehead or figurine on a stand with a super cheap thumb dial point thing that you could change. Somebody posted a blog on it, close up pictures. The thing was garbage, poor quality. Um, but people were dying to get this. They did not give them away to season ticket holders. And so there were season ticket holders commenting, yeah, I bought extra tickets to the game just so I could get one of these things. And so if you are not a sports fan in any way, then you might not be familiar with this, but sports fans are fanatics when it comes to memorabilia and collector's items. And so what that gave me an idea for was, wouldn't it be cool if it wasn't just a cheap thumb point thing, you had to read the newspaper, see how many points he has, adjust the dial, stick it on your desk, lame. Wouldn't it be cool if it updated itself? There's gotta be a way, right? Somebody's gotta know how many points he has on the internet, have an API, pipe into it, and it would just update sitting on your desk. And so I've had that, I've been sitting on it for a long time, and now I am so, so excited to actually start working on it. These bobbleheads really, they get it, don't they? So that is the project. Now, what I'm thinking is I'm gonna focus on hockey because hockey season's about to start and I am just super excited about it. And so we're gonna focus on hockey, but this project could be applied to anything. You like basketball, make a Steph Curry three-point tracker uh, piece of collector's items. Um, if you're a baseball, track Trout's home runs. And so anything, any sport, any statistic, I wanna be able to track. And so the idea I had originally was, what if we could take a hockey puck like the good old Vegas Knights here. I got this for Marc-Andre Fleury. I am not a Golden Knights fan. But um, what if we could bore this out, put a screen of some sort, microcontroller, whatever, some electronics in it, and then have the Vegas Golden Knights puck on my desk that tracks Marc-Andre Fleury's saves throughout the season. What if we took Bobblehead McDavid here put a little stand underneath of him, maybe just like a little nice wood thing that matches this base color that kept track of his goals or his assists, or he just signed the largest contract in NHL history. Good job, buddy. What if we tracked how much every goal is costing the Edmonton Oilers? I think that would be, no? I think it would be a cool idea. And so there's lots, the sky's the limit here, but the idea is to take stats from different sports, hockey really, I don't care about other sports, and 
put them into a puck. The other one, uh, we got good old Rod Langway here. Shout out to the old school caps. But for instance, Tom Wilson on the Capitals. He's an enforcer. Uh, maybe we could track his penalty minutes throughout the years. You get the idea. So a little while back, I started researching how I could get access to these stats online. And it turns out that the live stat business is a very lucrative one. There are a couple of free options for APIs that will allow you to pull data for non-commercial use, but most of these, depending on how close to live you want the data, like I want the stats after the game. Okay, that's 50 bucks a month. I want stats that are 20 minutes delayed. Okay, that's 100 bucks a month. I've seen these things go up to thousands of dollars a month. I'm assuming for things like fantasy sports, they need tight integrations into things like that. But anyway, so I didn't like any of that. So I actually just started messing around on the internet using the Google, not the Google, the Chrome develop the, the, the Chrome developer tools on the NHL.com website and found the secret undocumented NHL API that I wrote a blog post on. Fast forward a couple of months and I get an email from the developers who work on the NHL API at ML BAM saying, do you have any questions about the API? Which I thought was amazing. First of all, shout out to those guys for reaching out. But um, I didn't even know if it was legal what I was doing. I just kind of found it and was using it. It wasn't behind any sort of authentication, but they were like, no, it's totally public. We just haven't documented it yet, like you found out. And so we have access to an API, and I would love, love, love to turn that into Internet of Things hockey memorabilia. So that's the backstory. A little bit long, but I get excited. I, when I get excited, I talk a lot about it. So let's hit the design drawing board to see how we are going to approach solving this problem. All right, so let's talk about the pieces of the project here. First of all, goals. Again, I'm doing this for fun, obviously, but I'm also doing it to learn more about maker internet of things. And so I do have goals with each of these projects that I wanna learn more about specific technologies so that I can gain some amount of expertise in them. And for this project, I wanna use the NHL API because I wanna learn more about that. Uh, I wanna practice low power techniques. Uh, maybe this runs off a battery and doesn't have to be plugged in all the time, uh, which leads into our next goal, which is I wanna learn more about e-ink displays uh, for the display um, down here at the end. And I also wanna go back to low sand, and I'll tell you why uh, in just a second. So the, the pieces that we have are the NHL API, low sand, and our N collector's item, memorabilia, whatever, um, it may be. We're going to start with a particle photon on this. And I don't know that that's where we'll end up, but that's, that's at least where we're going to start. And the NHL API has no auth or anything. It's just simple HTTP GET requests. So we could communicate directly with it from here. However, it, it returns a lot of JSON. It's a JSON API. And so then we have to do JSON parsing down on the photon, which it may be able to handle. I'm not sure, but there's some heavy lifting that we'd have to do down here at the edge. And so that's another thing that LowSant can bring to us. Uh, we could do all the heavy lifting in the cloud, just turn this into a dumb display end node where it just we send information down and say, this is what I want you to display. Um, the other reason I want to use LowSant is that we used it in our last project to do ingest using the MQTT broker. We were pushing things up into LowSant. And so I got to know that side of things pretty well. But now I want to mess around with the side of LowSant that allows us to talk back down to our devices. And so uh, that was, I, I want to just gain, like I said, a little bit more knowledge there with LowSant. So that's why we're going to use LowSant again. Um, and that's it. That's, that's all we're gonna start with. This is the rough plan. I'm gonna start researching pieces of this. I need to figure out more about the NHL API and things like that. Um, but we're gonna start there and see if we can get something up and running before the regular season starts in, we're under a month now, so we're gonna, we're gonna try and jam on this project. So that is the project that we are going to work on and I hope that you will follow the journey on this. I am especially excited about it. Question of the day, what is your favorite hockey team? Doesn't have to be NHL, could be KHL, could be Pee Wee. If you don't like hockey at all, I mean, I guess you could say you don't like hockey. Um, 
but you're still gonna wanna follow the project. Cool things are happening. So what is your favorite hockey team? As always, I appreciate everybody watching Daily IoT, the show where together we're learning how to make the internet of hockey one day at a time.